uh, shared services uh, meeting uh, to order uh, at 11.15 on the 23rd of April. Uh, I'd like to welcome our special guest. Eliana What's your Hill. first name again? What, what? Eliana. <laughs> Ellie. Eliana. Okay. Thank you for coming. And you're more than welcome to sit on any committee I uh, chair. An added, uh, added freshness. So, uh, first thing is we want to uh, approve the minutes of the uh, previous meeting. Do I have a motion for that? Motion by Mr. McGowan, second by Ms. Hogan. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Passed. When do I get started? Okay, today uh, I just wanted to have uh, Ms. Butler come in and give us an uh, update on where we are on shared services and uh, specifically with the numbers. Uh, I, I believe everybody's got their um, documentation in front of them, hopefully. Is there anyone who does not have it? Okay, seeing none, I will turn this over to Ms. Butler and let her give us updates on 2017 and 2018 and any challenges she has. Thank you. Okay, so attached to the agenda is basically a summary of where we're at to date. Um, I've still got usage reports coming in from our vendors. That's always a challenge. Um, as you can see, for 2017, we landed at um, just shy of 167,000. For 2018, we're currently at 156,575. I expect that to rise uh, considerably, um, probably exceeding the 2017 numbers. Um, I do have copies of everybody's 2017 and 2018 reports, but I didn't make them for the committee. Um, I can send those out to everybody on an individual basis. I've started 2019's reports. Um, those aren't going to look as good because some of the numbers for 17 and 18 were largely based on water treatment chemicals and those costs have substantially gone up for 2019 based on our most current bid. Um, you know, the challenges continue. Uh, the flow of information between us and the municipalities um, and our vendors. Um, when I request usage reports, they're not timely in their responses. Um, it, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of emails to try to get information out of everybody. Um, so that's our biggest challenge. And then when we do get estimates for the bids that we're coordinating on, um, the estimates we get from the municipalities might not m match up with what they eventually purchase. So it's, you know, trying to match up quantities with what they gave us, with what they actually bought, and, and transitioning um, or interpreting that information. Um, but overall, I think based on the numbers, things are going well. Uh, we'll just continue to do what we're doing in the 2019. Thank you. I, I think one of the challenges I, I, I sat down with Julie last week or the week before, um, when a municipality says, well, I'm going to use 500 pounds of whatever, okay, and then actually only uses 200 pounds, okay, uh, the vendors, you know, the vendor is assuming that we're going to, we're buying, you know, based on the cumulative total of the estimates. And I, I um, so, you know, I know it's a lot of hard work in the town's part, but to get as close to the number that you're actually going to use as possible and then and then actually purchase that amount it, it, it's very important because we're, we'll lose credibility with the vendors if we say all right we're going to put in a bid for 100 pounds of something and then we only then we only actually buy 70 pounds of it because the towns didn't buy as much so all I'm asking I know you guys are all small towns and there's not a lot of extra help and resources but it's important that we get as, as, as close to the number as possible and use the number that you, you anticipate using as close as possible, please. That helps us all. Yes, and Julie? also if there's a change, like if you see that the bid comes in lower for one product and you prefer to buy that over something that you were purchasing before because that's happened with the water treatment chemicals, just let us know that. 
so we're not chasing down information you know for something that you're not even buying um, and the other thing I did give you was um, a copy of the City of Glens Falls reports for 2017 and 18 because they really have grabbed onto this effort and they're doing really well um, I mean we still have our challenges with getting information but um, and they're a bigger municipality so their numbers are obviously going to be higher but they really um, have done a good job in using our bids and giving us good numbers and providing us with the information yeah if, if just a recap of where we were with Glens Falls just a mere two years ago we were arm wrestling with them in, an, in a nice way but we were, we were trying to convince them hey you can make significant savings if you participate with Julie in the program and um, they didn't want to do it some of the different reasons like we all hear is well I have a personal relationship with that vendor or this or that or whatever uh, thank God um, they did do it for their sake and for the county's sake uh, they've saved over a hundred thousand dollars in two years that's a lot of money to any town or city and uh, uh, um, and and they're now they're on full board Julie went down there did meetings with their people uh, to, to make it easier to get the information to Julie uh, that was a lot of time on her effort and she's gone to a number of towns and is more than willing at any time uh, within her schedule to, to set up a meeting with your town if you need some guidance and I know we're two years into this but over three hundred thousand dollars in savings is a lot of money to all of us so uh, I, I thank you all for participating in it uh, we, we still have bumps along the way and that's with any program getting accurate information and so forth and so on but uh, uh, Julie's done a spectacular job of saving towns in this county significant dollars and I applaud her for that um, so are there any questions from this committee uh, for Julie yes mr. Wild mr. chairman thank you um, Julie just a couple of thoughts um, I see your numbers are it's basically cumulative year to year you know, what did we save last year you know are we and I'm just looking at these briefly I'm wondering if we're expanding this to different commodities or different um, items that we might purchase or is it just the same pieces we're going year over year because I'm, I'm trying to see if we're still if we're growing the program or is it just basically static we are trying to grow the program any commodity bid that comes up at the county we contact the towns to see if they're interested mm -hmm. um, we also have piggyback language for um, public works vendors that are on call for time and material contracts um, even our professional services those I don't report because they're not part of the program we strictly contracted for commodities so that's the only thing that I report on here but it's probably these numbers are probably higher when you take those things into consideration um, and I've said to the towns um, when I went out and did those meetings I said if you're gonna buy a high quantity of something that the county doesn't bid let me know and I'll reach out to everybody else see if we can consolidate those purchases um, that doesn't happen very often they usually call me for smaller items that I might be able to find on state contract or a national contract um, and that's the other thing you know in soft costs we do a lot of legwork that the towns no longer have to do they'll call me as a resource and I'll try to point them in the right direction so I think that helps as well that, that's an excellent point um, the fact that the towns are, are using Julie more and more uh, and that uh, decreases your costs and, and, and having to use some of your resources time and effort so that's another example of us coming together as a county and helping each other uh, to achieve our optimum uh, uh, productivity so thank you any other questions from the committee hearing none are there any questions from uh, uh, anyone in the uh, in the uh, room okay I, I thank you very much uh, there's nothing else on the agenda uh, we oh I'm excuse me mr. Moore I'll be very quick I'm bringing something up uh, because of Supervisor Strauss concern that we have intermunicipal agreements uh, in place for the uh, shared services initiative he's brought it up with me several times 
Um, we have, and I apologize that this is not on the agenda. I only got to talk to Supervisor Beatty about it last night. Uh, but we, uh, the, the major initiatives in our shared services program, much like Julie's uh, services with Towns calling her for professional advice, we do have uh, IT advisory services and we have IT uh, purchasing assistance services, uh, which is done gratis. Uh, it's an informal basis. A town will call up Mike Colvin. Uh, he'll help out with those decisions and uh, we track any savings that the towns get as a result. We also have the NIPA LED lighting initiative. Uh, that will be governed by its own uh, uh, approvals. Uh, I think um, if most of the towns, if not all, are working towards that. Um, and we have antivirus. Uh, we have a contract where piggybacking is allowed if uh, a town wants to take uh, advantage of our rates. So the main initiative I think that this applies to is um, equipment sharing, DPW, heavy equipment. Uh, uh, sharing. We've asked all the towns to uh, contribute to a database that Julie will maintain of what you have and what you might be willing to share between the county or between themselves, between municipalities. Um, in the event that a municipality would like a intermunicipal agreement in place, um, we uh, have language that uh, Supervisor Strau and I believe the county attorney have worked on. I can send that to uh, all of the entire board in the event that you have any suggestions. But basically the idea of this is it's, it'll, it's a generic approval that will then allow the county, because I'm bringing it for the county, to go and talk to Warrensburg or Queensbury and then depending on what the sharing is, lay out what, you, what requirements we would expect to see. But this will be a resolution from the board allowing the staff and the towns to then go ahead and do it. And in terms of towns wanting to adopt a similar resolution, I know Lake Luzerne already has. We'll be, I'll be offering the same text that Lake Luzerne adopted. Um, we'll leave it up to you as to whether you want to do that. I know that some towns do this on a handshake basis, so uh, up to you as to uh, what you think you need uh, legally in place, uh, sharing services between each other. But very briefly, uh, this uh, language that we would have would uh, allow shared services in a broad sense. Uh, shared service request would uh, be documented in writing. This will be for anything that's less than a $10,000 value. If it's a bigger project, you, we may want to think about having a, a standalone resolution in place. Um, t touches on accounting. Uh, repairs. Uh, if we're sharing equipment, regular wear and tear, we say, is the responsibility of the owner of the equipment. Uh, damage uh, is, is the responsibility of uh, the 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 entity that damaged it. Uh, again, this can be worked out in uh, uh, agreements to the town's uh, satisfaction. Uh, and we have insurance provisions, uh, indemnification agreement to hold uh, each other harmless in the event of, uh, God forbid, a death uh, or bodily injury. So um, with the approval from the committee uh, for the gen general idea of doing this, I can then send this around to the board and uh, uh, we'll make any edits that you think uh, uh, need to be made. And if it materially changes what we've approved today, we can bring it back. So what do you need from the committee today? Uh, authorization of uh, uh, an agreement uh, for the county to share services with municipalities, primarily uh, heavy equipment sharing. So do I, do, you need, uh, do I have a motion for that? Motion by Mr. McGowan. Do I have a second by Mr. Garrity? Any discussion? Okay, all in favor of uh, allowing us to move forward? Aye. Aye. Against? Passed. Thank you, Supervisor Strau. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. Uh, motion to adjourn by Ms. Hogan, second by Mr. Garrity. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Adjourned. <laughs> Aye. Good back.